Good Monday morning. Today I am taking some questions from the Fun Fun Forum. Program artist, how to manage pull requests in a team? How to maintain pull requests pile as low as possible while keeping the team focus high? From one hand, uh, you want it to be on one hand, you want it to be, be reviewed as quickly as possible. From the uh, and on the other hand, you don't want to create too many context switches for your team members. Yeah, uh, getting a good pull request code review culture in a team is uh, it's a bit tricky to establish. It doesn't come naturally. You have to uh, spend a little bit of of, of work like so you just just be patient with this it takes a while but uh, that said uh, in the uh, uh, last team I was in on um, at Spotify on the desktop team uh, we we had an agile coach Jimmy which was fantastic and he was big on this thing called a working contract and a working contract is something that you develop in a meeting. Uh, it's usually in the form of a post-it note. And it says something that the team agrees to do. It's not a task, it's more like a habit. So for instance, in this case, the uh, working agreement was I do code reviews every day. That was the working contract. And in the, the thing with the working contract is that every single person in the room must agree that this is a priority task and that this is something that we do. Or you don't put that working contract up. It needs to be completely unanimous. If someone is, uh, is on the fence, you need to convince that person or if that person is not convinced, you put that uh, working contract thing and into like this maybe column. Uh, where you will, well, we're gonna perhaps try it, but not everybody is convinced that this is a good idea. So it's very much in trial mode and we're just observing it. Uh, for instance, uh, oh, I don't remember any that was in the column um, mm, off the top of my head. But either way, the, the important thing is that it has to be unanimous. And as the weeks go by, like after a week or two, uh, you start putting, like, checking, going through the working contracts and seeing which of these are we actually doing. Uh, for instance, uh, you might do, like, we always write uh, unit tests for our code, might be a working contract, and you just observe that uh, you realize that eh, it doesn't really work with all ways. Uh, we, we, we figured out that, hmm, we had to... There are some pieces of the code that just isn't suitable for unit tests, or it's just an insane, bizarre amount of work to get this part of the code under test. So uh, we just figured out that no, we're not really adhering to this contract. So we decide either that we double down on it uh, and focus on it, or we decide to make it more uh, realistic so that it, it actually uh, corresponds to the working process that we have. In that case, we decided to change it to write unit tests or write a very good excuse. Uh, so that, yeah, I always add unit tests or have a very good excuse. Uh, and that turned out to be a really good balance because then, then people can challenge that excuse uh, a little bit. Uh, it just <laughs> that you you avoid the case where you just don't write unit tests out of lethargy, uh, and uh, but it also allowed us to skip unit tests for the cases where the cost was simply too high. But going back to the um, the case where oh, with a pull request, so the working contract there that we decided upon uh, was code review every day. So that means that you realistically will never have to wait more than a day for your code review to be uh, to be completed. Uh, often a lot less because everybody reviews all the time and some people will like to put their review block in the morning, some will you, you do it just because uh, before they go home. So it, like it became this pretty nice distribution and you 
you got your code reviewed in a pretty expedient manner, I think. It, it turned out to be pretty nice. It, allowed, it also allowed everyone to build a routine uh, around their work because they, they could choose a time of day where it was suitable for them to do code review, like in the morning or in the afternoon. And it also allowed you to... It, it kind of become, became this thing where you slammed in your thing uh, somewhere during the day and then you just, okay, there's gonna be a, a like, it's gonna take a day uh, before I get this back, uh, so now I go do something else. So just, just send them away for this feedback loop and then I do something else. It, it required some context switching, of course, that's, that's the nature of pull requests. Um, the only other real alternative to do to that is to uh, 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 is to do pair programming, which is something that I I love, but it's it also has some other logistical problems and and cultural problems. It's not it's it's not as trivial to get working in a team as uh, as pull requests are, but uh, but it's great if you can if you can get it. If you want to look at a company that does uh, pair programming well, you can look at Pivotal. They do it a lot. Uh, they don't even have personal workstations. They only have shared workstations. They only do pair programming, which is woo, cool. If you try to do it faster, for instance, like start pinging people on Slack to do code reviews, you start interrupting other people's work. And that is, um, that is a lot worse. It, it, it creates... That, that, that creates context switching in a very bad way, and I don't think that you should do it. If you if you're doing pull requests, I think that was that was at least the best um, the best flow that I've seen. A working contract that everybody agrees to. I do code reviews every day. You have just watched an episode of Fun Fun Function. I release these every Monday morning. Oh hundred GMT. You can watch another episode of the show by clicking here. Or if you are a patron of Fun Fun Function, you can discuss this specific question on the Fun Fun Forum by clicking here. I am MPJ. Until next Monday morning, stay curious.